is happening in our so-called development path? It's happening that uh, many governments have to face the so-called uh, financial crisis. No? We can see uh, the financial crisis is becoming uh, an economic crisis because of uh, uh, governments have two chances. Uh, the first one is to cut uh, budgets, and the second one is to rise taxes. So in my country, Italy, is uh, at the left of So we are cutting budgets in one hand, and on the other hand, they are rising taxes. So this financial crisis is becoming an economic crisis. So it's very different. Um, the economic crisis um, has, uh, is, is making a lot of problems in people. And why we have a financial crisis? Because of the banks that done a lot of loans, and many people did not pay back these loans. So uh, we are trying to help uh, the banks to survive. So I am trying to do a short version of, uh, of the financial crisis of people. But sometimes uh, this is happening you know, in the average. And uh, uh, so what is the chance of cutting budget. What is, what is the chance of cutting the budget? So culture, for example. That uh, culture in many in many countries, in many developed countries, is about the one percent of the total budget of government. About about the countries in which uh, they are very lucky so they are two percent. But this is about the average of uh, expenditure uh, in culture. So I don't think so. Yeah. So I don't think that cutting the one percent of the budget we can save the world from the financial and the economic crisis. So but uh, do you have you ever thought about what is one hundred percent of the budget of your budget? Is about Half a liter of milk. So, if you have if you uh, have an economic problem, probably you will not cut half a liter of milk. So, try to um, to think about what will be your life without culture. Um, <coughs> culture is uh, cinema, is um, uh, theater, is music, is uh, a lot of things, it's painting and museums, and what will be your life without a museum or without a, a, a song or without a, a movie? Probably you will be very sad. So I, I live in Rome in a neighborhood in which uh, there are a lot of supermarkets. If, uh, if a supermarket closes, probably the uh, gross domestic product of my neighborhood will fall. But my life will not change so much because I have a lot of sub supermarket near my house, so I can go to another supermarket. If in my neighborhood a museum goes, I am so poor. And this is a, a, an important thing because we have not to think about our richness in terms of money, in terms of in terms of uh, gross domestic product, but we should think of, of in to our life in terms of quality of our life. And this change very, very hardly the perspective. Well, so think about what is culture and think about what is not only because it's movies, because it's uh, theater or other things, but because what is re represent for you. So I did these two pictures, the Colosseum and the, the and cathedral. Well, this is not only a monument, this is our identity. So if we cut the cultural budget, we are cutting our identity. And it is most important than to cut 1% of my identity, I think. <laughs> when we cut the cultural budget, we cut freedom. This is a, an Italian um, artist, uh, Maurizio Cattelan, and this is the, um, uh, a sculpture that is in front of the Milan stock market. So, 
if we can do this, I can do this. So if I cut the budget in culture, I cut the freedom, our freedom, of every one of us. Third, culture is development. We have uh, taught in these days about the importance to have a museum, to sell products, to have a creative uh, um, sector, to have a creative... Uh, Yes, environment in which our companies may, uh, may grow and our uh, richness may grow. So if we cut culture, very uh, uh, surely we are cutting the development. So when um, uh, China uh, uh, import um, goods to our developed countries, uh, it's not uh, happening now. It happened in the 50s too. No, in the in the uh, 1000 in 16th century and uh, in Italy we face off with the renaissance so art was the first investment of Lorenzo il Magnifico of uh, and we have a lot of masterpieces now thanks to an economic crisis probably so in this moment we have to invest in culture this is one of the reasons why we have to invest in culture Okay, think about the importance for your life. What will be, how many of you uh, said, this book changed my life? How many of you followed in love thanks to a song? This is culture. So we have to, um, uh, we have to finance culture not only because it's a thing for people that are uh, a little bit UP and they go to a museum it's only to, to show the new jewel or you, the new clock. But we have to finance culture because it's part of our life every day. Thank you very much.